Guys, welcome back to another episode of Atlas Survival Shelters. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Guys, today I've got a cute couple from, from another state in the south that wants to be in one of my videos and see my bunker. So come on in here. You come over here and want to come over here. Okay. And as you can all tell, we're all sporting the Trump hats today. <laughs> you know. Because they want to be it. So guys, we're going to go check out a 10 by 40 modular shelter that is built out like a cute little house inside and after this they're going to go down the road and see recreational resort cottages in rockwall texas so guys you ready to go see the bunkers we're ready all right let's we're go ready. do it <laughs> okay all right <laughs> What these guys want, they just want a, they want a house that feels like a wine cellar and a cabin. They just want to live like, they want to do the tiny house thing is why they're on film. Yeah. They're not so much the preppers are as they are the uh, tiny house livers. Oh my God, the Well, look how tall it is. You see why it's so tall? That's yeah. 10 foot ceilings. But what we do is we take two feet for under the floor. Uh -huh. And then you have eight foot ceilings inside or seven foot six, Whoa, depending on the height. Look at this. This is, wow. this is amazing. We're going up in there. Go in it? Yeah, going oh, in. Man. This is great. So he just floated the floor so for the, uh, yeah, he just floated the, feathered the floor for the vinyl flooring. And notice that the flooring right there, that's one and an eighth inch thick flooring. Well, that is thick. That is it is thick. thick flooring. So this is much thicker than your traditional three Yeah, rooms. yeah. This is what you would do in a high-end house uh, oh, for the flooring on the second and third floor. Like this is like <laughs> super solid. Whoa! Look at the size of this room. Hey, look at You got your cabinets. You got your microwave. What are these storage? What is these? That is under the floor storage, and those are built-in water tanks. And then this, Whoa. that's a water filter. And then under the sink should be a reverse osmosis. See if they put it in yet. Oh yeah, it's in there. See that? Oh my gosh, look at that system. Yeah, so you have reverse osmosis, so that's your second layer of protection. That so by the time the water that filter there is enough for potable water, yeah. but that's not good enough for me. I add the second and do the reverse osmosis. Yeah, go on down. Oh, this is solid. <laughs> oh wow. Oh my gosh, you should see all the storage space that they actually have underneath you. It's amazing. Well, you can put all your food and your supplies under all the floors. Of course, you wouldn't do it right there. You probably, you'd do it over in this area. That's all cleared out. So jump down in that one if you want instead. Because that's where you can stack up your buckets. Yeah, you jump down there, ma'am. Okay. That's a lot of uh, food. Well, yeah, well, it lasts longer because it stays 56 degrees in here, so your food might last 35 years uh, because it stays nice and cool. And these rooms are they're, they're, they're roomy. They're roomy. Well, it feels like it feels like a manufactured home. Yeah. Um, and then you have a full bathroom. Of course, every room has these sliding doors. Then you go into... What do you think of these doors, honey? I love, I love these that. doors. I love that. Oh, man, look at how easy that is. Oh, it's so cool. Well, the bottom track's not in right now because the flooring's not laid. As soon as they put in the flooring, they'll put in the bottom tracks. Oh, I am. Whoa, look at the shower. Yeah, that's a big shower. You guys should get in there and try it out. Hey, that's a big <laughs> Cut. Yeah. Okay. All righty. Yeah. What do you think? Oh, hey, the, the shower is for one, not two. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, do your business. Okay. <laughs> All righty. So, as far as the toilet goes, this is a Santa Flow 
grinder pump, so the toilet is a regular flushing toilet. It takes 1.1 one one gallons of water to flush it, but it, then it pumps uphill to a septic system. So that is the Santa Flow system right there that we use. Um, that actually can fit behind the toilet, but because we have under the floor storage, you can put everything under the floor, and that way when you go in the bunker, you can clean it up just like a brand new hotel room. Wow. Yeah, which is always nice and clear. And this here is the, uh, that is the overpressure blast valve, and it's right near the toilet. It always is in my bunkers. So if you do your business, it takes the smell right out. Have you eaten a lot of beans the night before? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're having too much fun. And then this is the mud room right here. Of course, you got the submarine door right there. This is the way you would leave your bunker and come into your bunker. So, um, so this is like an eight-foot mud room. And there's another door here. So when you're in here, you shower in this room. There's a shower in here. You can hang up all your clothes on this wall. Your uh, survival gear, or if you're going to leave, you can come in here, put it on, and leave. When you come back in, you can take it off, shower, and then go into the bunker. So these are fully welded seams. Yeah, this will be a fully welded seam. Right now, it bolts together, then we'll weld it in the fill. So we put the angle iron on the outside, not on the inside. Okay. Yeah. So it'll be nice and clean when we're done. Then this other door over here, this leads to the generator room, okay? Which could also be a gun vault, as you're talking. So it's dark in there right now. But this always has the gas tight doors, so if you wonder why they're gas tight doors, carbon monoxide is created from the generator, and you want to have a gas tight door. So not only do we have one gas tight door, but we've got three. three. The reason there is three is because um, if you're using this room for your trash room, uh, that can build up methane gas, or let's say you have to put a dead body or whatever in here that would create methane gas and it will it will decay it will be very smelly so the gas tight doors keep all the smells out it keeps the gases out keeps carbon monoxide out keeps smoke out keeps everything up they'll come through their stairs the stairs enter here at a 90 degree angle then the travel from here to the wall over there on this one is 10 feet but there's the door to the generator room and this would be your generator room then this is the door leading to the mud room. Here, I'll go back inside and I'll call you in. Then, so this is your mud room with nice tall ceilings too. These are eight foot ceilings. I can't touch the roof even. Uh, then you come over here, you open the door, you enter the bunker, you turn around, you close the door over there. And see that porthole right there? Open that up. See, I thought I, this is how you can get your trash out without having to uh, open the door. So you just turn it, there you go. So you can, you can put your trash out there. Also, you can use it as a looking window if you just want to peek and see what's going on. Mm -hmm. And then close it back up real quick. So turn, put it back up there. Wow. And open it a little, yeah, hold on, hold on. Open it a little bit more. There you go. Screw it like that. Okay, then you pull it down. And okay, now you twist it. Twist it? Yeah. See, little things like that I think of. So you don't have to open this gas tight door, you can open the gas tight porthole, so that's gas tight as well. Now will this stop a bullet? That that is more than quarter inch still, it's five millimeter, so it's almost quarter inch, but it's a hair over. Um, so that will stop any pistol round. It will also stop most shotguns, slugs. It's not that door is not gonna stop a high velocity rifle, yeah. but you have the hatch on the surface that will. <clears throat> yeah, so these doors weren't really designed to be so much as bulletproof as they are gas tight. But they are thicker than the competitors' quarter-inch doors, even though we didn't, they call that bulletproof. I don't even call it bulletproof because they won't stop a high-capacity rifle or a high-velocity uh, rifle, but they'll stop all the pistol rounds. It'll stop a 9mm, 10mm? It'll stop 9mm, all pistol rounds, um, 22s, all, all stuff like that. But on the surface, you're going to have the hatch that um, will stop everything up except the 50 cal because it's 3 8 AR-500. Did you do that? Yeah. Well, well, this is kind of a first of this series of videos where I'm showing this before it's done, but you can see how cool that is. So it's like, all right, plus, plus you can shoot through that hole. I like that idea, yeah. 
stick your pistol through there and yeah, yeah. shoot them out. You can shoot through it as well, but they can't see you. So that's really a thick hatch right there. Yeah. So that's over a quarter inch as well right there. That's actually three eighths. Yeah. So three eighths will stop most of your rifle rounds. So you can open this up, take your pistol, bah, 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 shoot in there, and, shoot it up. and never expose your body because I'm standing here with bam, 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 bam. Okay? But throw some tear gas through there. You can also throw tear gas in there too. So you see how important that little porthole is? And that's on every one of my bunkers. Wow. Wow. I am impressed. Isn't that cool? Yeah, that is really, really cool. That is really cool. I think like a sick man, don't I? <laughs> we gotta have one. <laughs> so as far as the interior goes, it's all metal. Um, we're using a one and eight inch floor. We're using a regular wall board, but it is an exterior wall board. Okay, so it's waterproof. I mean, it's, it's, it's an exterior. So it's made for not rotting. Okay, uh, then regular trim. We're putting two coats of epoxy paint on the trim. We do plugs with GFIs, okay? Um, so if you blow a fuse, you can just press the button and it will pop yeah. back out. This shelter has two electrical panels. One that's tied into the hot water heater because it's going to be 220 volt. And then we have a second one over here. This is a 100 amp panel right there. And that's going to all your plugs. And all the wiring, as you notice, is under the floor as well as the plumbing. So you don't see a bunch of uh, conduit running through my bunkers. So the idea is you want this to be livable. And this is, of course, this is the master bedroom. They're getting ready to put the floor in. Nice for your bedroom. Put three yeah. Bed in no, the this bed. is a yeah. large bedroom. So yeah. I'm, I'm getting all the way over here to the corner. Yeah. You have a floor access panel there for your storage. Okay. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. So we put a, a TV bracket on the wall. Okay. So you can lay in bed, watch TV. So that goes this way. You can put a. So well, the bed goes this way. The bed goes this way here. Well, technically, you could do the bed either way. Yeah. It, it will fit. This room's 10 feet, 6 inches long, so it will go either way. You just got to leave 3 feet for the NBC air filtration system that's going to be right here. Then, of course, you have the um, you have the living room, and this is a 16-foot living room, which is the average size of a bunker. So um, you see my 10 by 20 bunkers in some videos. This is a 10... Yeah, a, a, no, a full-size couch. Full size, wow. Yeah, a regular eight-foot couch goes in here. Then the dinner table goes on this side. This has a bracket for a, a big screen TV. So that's what we do there. And you can tell we do a, yeah. we mount wood on the wall. So you don't see wires and it, it doesn't look. So everything's hidden, yeah. Like yeah, so everything's hidden and it looks good. The idea is when you're in here, it has a cottage feel yeah. and you like it because yeah. you, you have your regular kitchen with a microwave. You'll have a refrigerator in here. Um, you got all your shelves, pots, pans, storage, everything you need. LED overhead lights. Wow. But no exposed wire, no exposed wiring, yeah. no exposed plumbing. Everything's under the floor where it should be on a, like an army. Yeah, you can see. You can see what you're doing. It's a great kitchen. Yeah. Well, when you go to recreational resort cottages in Rockall, which is an hour away from here, yeah. you're gonna get it. You're gonna go. Oh, I see where Ron gets his ideas yeah. from because yeah. Ron's doing the same thing. I usually put a backsplash here, but I'm not gonna do a backsplash on this one. Yeah. But normally I do a ceramic backsplash. Uh, like that idea. But this this is keeping the cottage look, and with the barn doors and everything like that. I want people to come down here and feel like they're just in a manufactured house or like a mini house. So if you if you put this down below and then you put your cottage above it, they'll just match. And if you wanted, you could get them to paint the interior the same as this or whatever. Matter of fact, you can pick out the interior colors. You can pick out the flooring. You can pick out the walls. You can pick out the trim. You can pick everything out and we build it to that. So the next one we're building is just like this, except it's gonna have a living room kitchen, then it has eight bunk beds, and then the bathroom's on the backside. So it's completely different from this, and of course I'll film that too. See, where we live, it's hot. So where we live, it's hot. We could live in this on the ground, it would be, average temperature would be well, 60. No, it's, uh, in the south, it's, it's 60 plus. Uh, if you go up Minnesota, it's 56, so it varies around the United States. Yeah. But it definitely is cool down here, and um, 
you can actually leave the doors open and have airflow and you don't have to turn on the air system. That's really just for an emergency. Just uh, leave the doors cracked. Um, but airflow is, you do, if you're building up CO2 levels, you do want to get it out. So if the doors are open, it's okay. But, um, yeah, I love that Touch the ceiling. Whoa, yeah, and I'm 6'2. Yeah. And there's plenty of headroom in here. Yeah, okay. Plenty, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like these bunkers. And of course, the one outside, it's like a little bit different. Yeah. 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 Yeah
this is the big boy uh, culvert right here. So we're gonna make a big boy solid round start this week. Wow. And I got the pipes outside. Um, and of course, everyone likes the big boys because they're so big inside. I've got, I've got one over there that's ready to ship. And that is a, a 12 by 48 big boy modular right there. That, and you saw it, they went inside that one, but there wasn't hardly any light, so I didn't film it in there. And these are some of my prepper supplies. Now I got my butt out of California with two days notice. So I called in an 18 wheeler. I brought in all this and all the stuff you saw over there, my off-road, yeah. my EMP proof motorcycles, yeah. um, my, uh, my food, my waters, guns, everything. Yeah, I'm impressed. Yeah. I'm impressed. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to see them out of here. Okay. This is our office here. So this is my offices. But guys, this right here would be a 16 foot by 35 foot bunker. So I'm doing one of these right now under a couple houses that they're double wise and they're going to be built out like game rooms, but they'll have the wood on the walls. I'll have the barn tent on the ceiling. Yeah. So imagine this being your bunker under your house and being a game room with pool table, ping pong table, wet bar, all your deer heads on the walls, your guns hanging up, and then a beautiful Fort Knox vault door uh, as the entrance to it. So people go down in there, they don't even know it's a bunker. They, they just think it's your safe room with all your guns and stuff. And they open it up and it's a room. Yeah. yeah. Well. <laughs> Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the tour here at Atlas Survival Shelters, and I hope you like that 10 by 40 bunker. Oh, it's fabulous. I'm wow. telling you, they are, they are nice, aren't yes. they? We gotta so, have one. <laughs> we gotta have one. So guys, if you ever wanna come visit me and see the factory, just call the one 4 bunker I'll put the number right here, or email me at ron at atlassurvivalshelters.com and uh, come see me. But guys, don't forget, you know I have a drop page if you guys want to get that survival food from Emergency Essentials, go to my drop page. It's called shelterwithatlas.com and discounts are built in. So guys, go to my drop page, help yourself, help this channel and be prepared for the future. But guys, thanks for coming in. Better than okay, Christmas. all right, so all right. Fun. So guys, you time. can come see me too. <laughs> so guys, as always, thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, share this video if you think it's funny and you wanna be like these people here. Hit that little ding ding bell, which is her, okay. <laughs> but guys, as always, I love you. I'll see you on the next video.